Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to unbox and take a first look at the BlackBerry Z10 on Verizon. This comes in at $199 with a two-year contract, has some pretty impressive specs, and to be honest, I haven't used a BlackBerry in a very long time, so this should be pretty interesting. We'll slide off the normal covering we get on most Verizon phones, like this here. It's pretty snug. There we are. And here's the box itself. I have to get through some of this tape here. I've got the tape off. Let's see what we have here. There is the phone. First impressions is looks pretty nice. I've seen it elsewhere. I've never seen it in person, but it looks pretty nice. We'll set this aside for just a moment here. And underneath this piece here, pull this out. There we go. It opens up. And we have some Verizon literature. We have the Start Here guide, consumer information, and uh, safety and product information. We'll set that aside also. And then what do we have here? We have Snapdragon. Inside your new smartphone beats the heart of a dragon. It's a Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. We'll talk about more in a moment. We have our AC adapter. I haven't seen this one before. Let's open this up here a little bit. It's got the little BlackBerry symbol on the back. AC or USBs on the bottom, or actually it's going to be the side, how it plugs in. We have a micro USB cord to USB adapter. And a battery, and that is it. Slide everything out of the way here. The phone itself feels pretty light. Let me take all of this different plastic wrapping off of it. There we are. On the back of the phone is rubbery. That's really nice. It feels pretty high quality. Let's talk about the specs. It's got a 4.2 inch display that's 768 by 1280, just a little bit above 720p. And it has a 356 pixel per inch count, which is higher than an iPhone. So that's pretty impressive. It's capacitive multi-touch, just like all of these newer ones. It has light sensors, proximity sensors, all sorts of things like that. It also has about a 10 hour battery life. Now, some other reviews have said that the other versions on AT&T, things like that, don't necessarily get through a full day. So we'll see. But here's the battery itself. This should be an 1800 milliamp hour battery, and it's supposed to be good for 10 hours of talk time and 13 days of standby. It's got a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Plus in it, running dual core with 15 megahertz or 1.5 gigahertz. It also has an Adreno 225 GPU. It comes in with 16 gigabytes of built-in storage and 2 gigs of RAM. It also is expandable up to 64 gigabytes using a micro SD, so that's nice as well. On the back, we have an 8 megapixel camera with an LED flash. On the front, we have a 2 megapixel forward facing camera. Now, this is the LTE version, but it does have GSM, UMTS, and LTE bands, just about every band there is, and supports. LTE, HSPA, UMTS, Edge, GPRS, also has a GPS built in as you'd expect. The design of the phone's pretty nice. You can see it's got a nice touch panel here. We have our earphone and the camera we talked about earlier. On this side, we have volume up and down buttons. And then in the center, we're supposed to be able to silence the phone using that. On the back is the camera we talked about. We've got the normal BlackBerry symbols and it has a rubbery coating. So you're not going to drop this one. It's pretty nice. On this side, we have mini HDMI or micro HDMI and micro USB. And then on the bottom, we have our speaker and I think it incorporates the microphone as well. Let's see if we can pop the back off. Now, one of the things the iPhone doesn't do that this does, this is incredibly thin, but also has a removable battery and SIM card slot and micro SD storage. So if you really want to use a lot of memory or you have a lot of things you want to put on it, you have those options. So that's pretty nice. Here's my SIM card. It shows me very clearly how to put it in. So that's always nice. Not everybody does that. And then we can easily pop it out this way. So there's no mechanical mechanism to break, which is nice. Not that you should be popping that in and out a lot, but we do have that. And then this has wireless charging as well. This is a coil or NFC built in for coil. So it should, should work. I don't have anything to test that, but there we go. And it immediately turned on. I didn't push any buttons. So let's see what it looks like when it starts up. The phone's starting up, as you can see, 
We're waiting for this little BlackBerry symbol here. Give you a size comparison. Here is an iPhone 5 next to it. So it is a little bit bigger than an iPhone 5, but has a really nice premium look to it and feel because of that little rubbery grip on the back. So you can see right here, we kind of have this ring as a status, so it is showing us what's going on. This is the normal 4G LTE Verizon thing. And welcome to BlackBerry. Swipe left to continue. So it's going to activate the SIM card. I've never gone through this setup, so this should be pretty interesting. Swipe left to continue. It says you need a data connection to continue. Please connect to a Wi-Fi network. There's my network. So far, the screen is nice and bright. It's going to connect to my home network here. And there we go. We'll swipe again, I guess. There we are. United States, we pick our country. And then we have to agree. So I don't know what it's waiting for. But that's what we want. There's their agreement. I agree. And then you need to sign in with your BlackBerry ID to use BlackBerry Messenger, BlackBerry World, and more. I guess we'll create a new. I got through the initial BlackBerry ID creation. The keyboard is really nice, but it did feel a little sluggish when I scrolled. So, yes, I want to use location services. I accept. Software update. So it's checking for updates before I even get to use the phone. We're waiting for that. We can use some of the gestures. I've looked online, their website. We've got some things here. Unable to connect. Uh, we'll do that later. We can swipe down from the top to start an emergency call. And this update contains files and applications specific to your region. So I guess we'll have to update. That update went pretty quickly. Essential gestures. So I don't know if it's going to teach me. It says, congratulations, you've completed setup. Watch the video demo to learn. And swipe up to leave the app. I've already seen some of them. To get setting, touch the top edge of the glass and slide your finger down. I get it. To get out of any app, touch your bottom edge of the glass and slide your finger up. Here's the BlackBerry start screen. It says swipe right or left to explore the home screen. You can add accounts. It's pretty responsive now. So we can go back home by swiping up from the bottom edge. Swipe down. We have some settings for Wi-Fi and everything else. So that's pretty nice. So I'm going to be using this for some time before I go into actually reviewing it, but I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. If you have any questions or any concerns or anything like that, if you're considering one, please place those in the comments below. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.